Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. The word consecration, it means the dedication of something or someone to a holy purpose. And make no mistake about it. In 1 Corinthians 7, Paul is pushing for the consecration of people to the single life. He is telling us what is good and beneficial about being single. Just consider what he says in chapter 7, verse 7. I wish that all were as I myself am. He's talking about being single. But each has his own gift from God, one of one kind and one of another. He's going to say in verse 40, Yet in my judgment, she is happier if she remains as she is. Talking about a single woman or a widow woman. And then in verse 32, Paul tells us that the single person can be more dedicated to eternal matters, which is why this status is preferred and pushed by Paul. But also remember back in verse 7, Paul says that the single life is a gift. So what exactly is Paul saying? He is saying that singleness is a good and godly thing when a person does so for the glory of Christ. And I'm saying that each and every single person, the not yet married, need to work out a call to the gifting of singleness in the Lord. You need to ask and ponder and pray this question. Have I been called and gifted in this particular way? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking perhaps, I know I'm not gifted in this way because it would be way too difficult. To which I would respond, do you know how difficult marriage is? If the basis of the gifting was lack of difficulty, not many people would be gifted for marriage. As you pray today, please remember Sean Richards and his family, our missionaries in Papua New Guinea. And also remember the Burmese Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Burma. 